Yes. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Uh, let me talk about the criteria to evaluate presentation performance for WIM. This is a, a criteria a rubric. And there are one, two, three, four, five uh, criteria. First one is English expression. In here, we don't need to speak like a native speaker, like American or uh, British or other uh, native speakers English. We need to speak as an Asian student. So, please uh proud yourself to be an asian english speaker okay so uh there are many asian audiences so we have to be audience conscious uh adequate analysis of the audience such as english levels of the audience Almost of you are high school students, so we uh, also Asian high school students. So we have to be conscious about high school Asian students' English ability and readiness. Okay? So to do that, we need a good prosody, which I will explain later. And uh, it should be clear which part is stressed okay so english expression level five we have these points and uh, level four in level four good enough to deliver to asian students good interaction and questioning with the audience so uh, still good about uh, deliver and interaction but uh, we need good prosody and uh, audience conscious the third and the second these uh, uh, sometimes they don't you don't speak uh, in a loud voice oh, sorry uh, they are speaking in a loud voice but they don't care about audience and the second one second level not so good at handling the microphone or speaking in English of our so you have to be careful about how to use your microphone or uh, this uh, internet device the last one bottom one is incomprehensible uh, in this case you speak to yourself and not audience conscious you speak too fast or your own accent but you have to be uh, audience conscious to Asian students okay this is the first one English expression I'll explain it later in detail second one is performance okay performance in this uh, criteria keeping good speed speed in delivery and easy for the audience to follow and good interaction with the audience. Interaction means not necessarily with verbally, but uh, uh, non-verbal interaction you need it. Like uh, body language, eye contact, and so on. Even you speak to the computer. And the pause is very important. Uh, in here, uh, we have to put appropriate pause time, otherwise, audience couldn't understand and couldn't get the idea because people usually understand what you said during the pauses okay so pauses should be very appropriate and uh, presenters opinion like uh, Kanda sensei said you you need your own opinion okay this should be very clear and uh, fourth level uh, emphasize the level, emphasize the part is clear, but still need the speed of con speed and delivery and those things. 
and other levels, good collaboration to deliver, okay, cooperation with your member. And uh, second one, delivered in a monotone. This is not good. Monotone means very flat, no stress or no weak. In English, you need stress and uh, intonation and accent. If it's monotone, it's not good. And the last one, the bottom one is mosquito reading. It's like a, a mosquito, you know. Uh, me, me, they, they, they are annoying, but uh, uh, we couldn't hear what they say. It's a very annoying noise. Uh, it's noise, not uh, it's not it's not uh, uh, speaking, but only noise. This is not good. Okay. So, okay. The third one is. Uh, Presentation, sorry, presentation with responsibility, okay? You have to present with responsibility. You know what the word in Japanese or in Chinese is responsibility. Express clear opinions and feelings, okay? Feeling, your feeling, you have to uh, deliver your opinion and at the same time, your feelings, uh, this is important. Uh, and getting strong empathy, okay? This is uh, similar to feeling from the audience. So, kyokan uh, in Japanese, you uh, talk to audience and audience feel the same thing as you express, okay? And expression, opinion, and feelings, and getting empathy from, okay. Uh, in here, uh, we need more uh, strong, this is just an uh, ordinary one, but uh, uh, in here, strong empathy and uh, clear. But in here, just regular uh, feelings and uh, opinion. And the third level, only explaining the data. This is no good. It's not uh, presenting your own opinion, but only showing the data. This is no good. And showing the search results on the net, this is worse than data. Uh, only showing the internet uh, searching results, this is no good. Uh, there's no opinion or no uh, fact or uh, so. You just put the internet uh, results. And the, the last level is expressing no opinion or no suggestions. Okay, so uh, this is not responsible. Just expressing, uh, uh, even they don't show any opinions. So this is not good. Okay, so uh, you have to check these out. And the fourth one is content. This is very important, content. A clear story, I'll show you later. People like stories, so you need a clear story. And in story, one core message and the three topics is very appropriate. One core message and three or four topics. This is easy to understand. If it's more than three or four, uh, four or five, it's very hard to follow. And the core uh, message should be only one. And uh, through that, uh, it will motivate the audience very well and their research data and opinions are used, okay? In here also opinion is very good, I, we need it. And your own research, not other people's research, but your own research data is very good, okay? And uh, fourth level will be good research and organization, too much contents. In here, if you put too much contents, it's hard to follow, so and no, uh, only few opinions. Uh, this is uh, not good enough. And the mere results of the re Google search, okay, just I showed you in here too, but uh, if you Google research and just put it, it's no good. And the issue lacking flow of structure of the argument, just talking about the issue, uh, just showing your issue at Monday ten is it's not good enough just showing the issue is not good and uh, 
flow of structure or structure of the argument. And there's no argument. This is no good. And the last one will be boring. Just copying rights or uh, complicated with too many photos. Don't put too much photos. Uh, it's very uh, annoying sometimes. So be careful about putting photos. And the last one is question and answer. This is, uh, uh, OK, answered are but I will show you later. But uh, question Q&A is very important. And the good enough without uh, going into details. And the answer mostly covers the questions. So there will, uh, will need a good interaction with the audience and the speaker. OK, this is a, a rubric. And I'll show you in detail in here. OK, uh, some are written in Japanese, and uh, uh, these are in English. So it's a bilingual uh, explanation. OK, I just uh, uh, sum up the uh, five points. English expression, audience conscious. Uh, in, be careful about uh, English levels of the audience and the prosody and the stress and the Asian students. These are keywords. Okay, pick up uh, Japanese students, you can refer to this one. Okay, the performance, uh, good speed and uh, easy to follow, good interaction and pauses are very important. And opinion is clear, clear opinion, right? Okay, uh, presentation with responsibility, expressing clear opinions and feelings. You have to be natural about your feelings, emotions, and getting strong empathy from the audience. Kyokan in Japanese, empathy. Uh, so there are uh, interaction in feelings. Content, clear story, one core message, three or four topics. And the success in motivating the audience. You have to motivate the audience. You have to attract them from the content. And their own research data. OK, own research data is important. Sometimes we pick up from the uh, uh, Google search. But uh, if you have your own research data, it's very strong. And uh, if you have opinions about that, this is very uh, good uh, content presentation. OK, the question and the answer uh, should be uh, down appropriately. OK, uh, let me tell you about uh, English expression in detail about Asian English. OK, there are, this is famous uh, three circle model of the world <coughs> Englishes. OK, the inner circle here, uh, English as a native language, uh, they speak in USA, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. And the second circle, like Kanda Sensei and India, uh, Sri Lanka, and Singapore, uh, Philippines, they speak as a, a official language, official language. Because <coughs> there are many <coughs> languages <coughs> in this area. <coughs> and we are, most of them are here. <coughs> China, Egypt. <coughs> Yoshita Sensei, are, are you sharing your like another documents? <coughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> okay. I will give it this later so you can <coughs> see easily. <coughs> okay. In here, <coughs> uh, we have three uh, Englishes, <coughs> three levels of English in the world. The first one, the uh, inner one, <coughs> is a uh, native language. <coughs> Sorry. As you see, <coughs> in USA and the UK and the Canada and the other places, the first language. <coughs> the second language, <coughs> English as a second language, <coughs> They speak uh, English and official language. 
like uh, Singapore, India, Sri Lanka, uh, Ghana, <coughs> Philippines. And uh, <coughs> expanding circle, more so us uh, here. English as a foreign language, <coughs> like China, Egypt, Iran, South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and others. Uh, because in here, we use the medium of international communication. We only use it for international communication. But in here, official, it's a little bit different. <coughs> so we speak English as in Asia. So uh, our English uh, is here, around here. So we communicate each other in Asia. <coughs> so we speak Asian English. OK, as for audience conscious, you are in Japanese know master's uh, follow, uh, following uh, spirit, flowering spirit. And uh, when you are on the stage, like in world this meeting, uh, you have to look at you objectively, objectively from behind. Okay? And if you could do this uh, uh, looking at your objectively, then you can look at you objectively from the audience. So you have to be audience conscious. And uh, this is very important. You look at yourself uh, from distance. OK. And uh, the other way to understand as about uh, audience consciousness is 3P, like uh, people, purpose, place. You have to be conscious about the people. Uh, <clears throat> here, uh, audience is English level, uh, cultural background, and education level. In this case, uh, high school students and uh, English as a foreign language. And the purpose, okay, most of you uh, use this way, uh, uh, persuasive speech in world use meeting. So uh, other, there are other uh, speech uh, like uh, informative, uh, entertaining, uh, motivating, and the ritual speech, OK? And the place, OK, in face-to-face presentation, uh, we have to be conscious about layout and size of the uh, <clears throat> presentation area. But online, even online, uh, you have to be careful about the uh, type of platform, like Zoom or Teams. They are a bit different, so you have to be careful about that. OK, as for English expression, delivery, and there, there are two uh, contents about uh, Delivery, verbal communication, okay? In here, you have to be conscious about the prosody, like I mentioned before. There are three elements about uh, prosody. First one is stress, okay? You have to uh, put the stress on these items in English, like noun, verb, audience, uh, sorry, adjective, adverb, and other things. So. Uh, these must be uh, pronounced strongly. But other things like article, the, the, uh, the, or something, relatives, which, and who, and something like that, and conjunction, and, or, but, or, these are called uh, function words. So these are less susceptible to sentence stress. There's no stresses like these uh, words, okay? For example, <clears throat> In here, I put it uh, capital letters. They went for a walk in the park. There are content words and nouns. We have to uh, put uh, stress on it. I sent them a photo of the children like this. I hope you won't be late for the appointment, something like that. So these words should be, should have stresses. And also, if it's a um, new information, you have to put the stress on it. How long have you been in Japan? I have been here about three months. So, uh, and all the new information is month. So you have to put the stress on it. And also, rhythm. In English, a uh, constant amount of time between uh, stress to syllables, the dog and here, and between them, we have the same uh, time amount. The dog is here. The dog will be here. The dog 
is gonna be here. So this uh, uh, the same time we use it. We have <clears throat> time amount. And also intonation. There are many intonation, but uh, uh, the fam uh, main uh, one is like uh, going down, falling. Where is the nearest post office? And rising, are you thirsty? And uh, down and fall and rising. I don't support any football team at the moment. Moment. And if you pronounce like that, but I may change my mind if in future, uh, including these <clears throat> meanings. In that case, you go down and up. This is English. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me give you some good example of Japanese uh, presenter. <clears throat> okay, uh, just uh, look at this. <clears throat> 150 words. <clears throat> so 120 WPM. <coughs> what does this number represent? It's a big number. It never stops. It keeps rapidly increasing. This is actually the amount of waste being dumped globally this year. It's pretty shocking. Every year, the world produces about 2 billion tons of waste. The amount of garbage Japan produces annually is 43.98 million tons. What do you think is the solution for this problem? You might thought of three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, like this. <clears throat> Can you see? <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> she put the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, pauses, like here. So... Uh, some of them are a little bit long, but uh, uh, they put uh, uh, pauses like uh, every seven or uh, <clears throat> uh, eight words and something like that. It's very clear. And uh, they put the, the number as a keyword. Okay, this is a, a very good uh, point. And the keywords, three hours, reduce, use, recycle, something like that. Okay, as for pause, it's a... Uh, uh, <clears throat> there is a famous uh, uh, magical number, 7 plus minus 2. And uh, we have other opinions about 4 plus minus 1, but uh, uh, as usual, we put 3 to 9 words in 2 seconds. 2 seconds is the uh, capacity of working memory. You memorize uh, 2 seconds uh, very easily. <clears throat> and uh, in during this time and number of words, uh, we uh, present thoughts of group, okay? Thoughts of group, and in this case, <clears throat> 130 WPM, and uh, four to 10 words in two seconds. This is a good model of presentation. And uh, uh, this is a, a church service, and uh, church service is, uh, should be very easy to understand for everybody. And uh, they polish the words from Bible like a poem. So there's a good rhythm and uh, intonation. So why don't you listen to the, this? In the beginning was the word, yeah. and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it. Okay, you see, this uh, two seconds, so his uh, six words in two seconds, six words and five words and others, they are all two seconds time. So people could understand very easily in this uh, service. And uh, they are good, very good at uh, speaking. So uh, you can check it uh, in, on 
YouTube anytime. And okay, other thing is uh, non-verbal communication. So you have to use uh, body language or eye contact. <clears throat> if it's a good eye, if you use a good eye contact, uh, uh, that means <clears throat> uh, honesty, familiarity, skill, self-confidence, presence, and reliability. So if you use these uh, uh, contact and body language, uh, the audience <clears throat> uh, could rely on them. Okay, like a famous uh, person. This is a, a very famous evangelist uh, in the States. And he's a good friend of every student in the States. And uh, even Martin Luther King, he was very respected. And Billy Graham is a, a famous uh, speaker. So th he uses confident, enthusiastic, because of his clear purpose and uh, listener and familiarity with the material. So uh, he's a good speaker and presenter. Maybe you can pick up this, uh, his uh, speech from YouTube. Yeah, it's very easy to understand. He's very, uh, a very confident speaker. Okay, as for content, we need a clear story because human being uh, like stories and uh, your presentation should be a story. In introduction, here, blue part, beginning. And then body part, two or three or four details will be here, climax part. And then conclusion, the falling part, resolution. So if there are three uh, parts of your presentation, like this story, uh, people could follow you very well. Okay? So introduction, body, and conclusion. It's like a story. And the Q&A time, uh, in positive questions, first you have to greet the speaker and then asking a question. If you are a good uh, uh, questioner, you have to uh, raise his uh, presentation and then you can ask uh, to the speaker. Like, okay, I have a question about ABC and then why did something ABC, I think it is Nantuga, something like that. So please tell us your opinion about ABC. So in this case, uh, the speaker could uh, follow what you are going to ask very easily. So speaker could answer your question uh, very properly and uh, friendly, okay? And these uh, expressions, maybe you can uh, check it later. And like, uh, there are some good expressions in English to uh, construct the story. Expression about the context, okay? As for context, context thing, uh, you can add something like, uh, <clears throat> and besides, in addition, moreover, there are many ways of saying addition, okay? So, in English, you should use uh, different kinds of words. They don't like uh, repeating the same words, but uh, you can put the variety of expressions in your speech. Then you could be a good speaker, <clears throat> okay? And the range of expression related to English, uh, okay? and uh, passing and exchanging information and uh, your emotions like uh, amazingly or frankly or suddenly actually according to something okay if you ask a question or even presenting you can put these emotional expressions so the presentation will be very live live presentation Okay, so I said many things, but uh, if you put these things in mind, you could be a good presenter at the World Youth Meeting, not only, but also 
in the real world, like uh, when you are working or becoming a teacher, you could use these uh, points and be a good presenter. 